Welcome to the world of the fast, secure, and easy home buying. Hey everybody, in this video of Proof of Make, we take a look at Proppy. Proppy is a company that's putting real estate on the blockchain, and how they're doing this is by providing a suite of services that help buyers and sellers connect and then actually execute all the legal aspects of closing the transaction. It's a pretty interesting project, and we'll also take a look at the Proppy token. So Proppy raised a little more than $15 million last year, and we're gonna look at the tokenomics of the actual cryptocurrency. Then I'm gonna sit down with our CTO and go over all of it. All right, we're taking a look at Proppy.com. Proppy is a platform for buying real estate all over the world. So when you come onto their website, you can see different properties that they have for sale. And some of them, some of the properties even have videos. So that's great. We just gave free promotion to Joan R. Manticon and her property that she has for sale. You can call that number. Okay, so very interesting. So. Yeah, you can get the details and then if you're interested you can tell them get in touch so you can agree to the policies send a message etc and reach out to the agent you can see basic information about the property so you'll notice up here that i have a balance of one pro so that was given to me for free um, but i can't withdraw it uh, because that's just an incentive coin and then if i actually need to go through with the transaction then the Proppy token is used to do a variety of things with their smart contracts that put a stamp of approval on the contract. Now, what's interesting is that most of the contracts now are not the deeds because the deeds are obviously those are those are held with the government. Uh, but property wants governments to start using their platform, so that's really what the the long term play here. Now, the question is with the token. Uh, so in their token sale last year, they raised about $15 million, $1 per token. And essentially, these are traded on the market with about $20 million market cap. Now, how are property token holders, uh, how do they receive value? Well, people need property in order to close deals. Now, when you close a deal, it only costs about $10 in property. So you need a lot of people constantly closing deals for property tokens to actually be pretty valuable. So the people who currently hold this are speculating that the value of property is going to go up because a lot of people are going to do transactions. But today, there aren't that many real estate offerings. So it looks like this is most of them. So the main cities are New York, where they have 15 properties, London, where they have 10, 279 in San Francisco uh, in 22. So that, yeah, so a few hundred properties are on here. And uh, people actually have to close these deals, though. They have a pretty intuitive video that explains how the entire thing works. Uh, Michael Errington, the guy who started TechCrunch, uh, he was one of the first people to actually buy a $60,000 property in the Ukraine. So there's that, and he's right here on the, on the front uh, in the testimonials. And so that's pretty much it. You look at the properties. If you have, you know, a lot of money laying around uh, or, you know, even $20,000, $29,000. What I'd like to see here that I'm missing is maybe kind of a budget thing. It would be kind of cool to be able to drop down and say, okay, this range, this range, or this range. They have an iPhone app, which is cool. And that's pretty much it. Their focus is getting more properties to close transactions here. And every time a, a transaction is closed, they'll need about $10 in property. So we want, if you're a property holder, you want a lot, a lot of transactions. And so that, that's their focus. And every, every time there's a transaction, they actually take a percentage fee. So property takes a, a one third of that. And then the other two thirds are put into a pool that is auditable on the blockchain, which they use to create more incentives for people. So they, they take two thirds of their transaction costs to go out and market more to more places to get more properties to leverage the platform. So if they can get to thousands of property transactions and then also close with governments, uh, then this could this would be really interesting. So we'll see. And that's a basic introduction to Proppy. All right, so um, this is uh, Proppy. And basically uh, what you do is you can um, look at different properties and then you buy them. Okay. Um, they had a token sale, right? 
They have token cell. Right. Well, um, does their token have any role within like this ecosystem of Oakland? Um, so when I buy a property, about ten bucks of it is uh, in property is used to um, put the legal contracts and other things onto the blockchain. What does that mean? Um, basically, they, they they call it like for they say they call it hashing. But basically, they take the files and put them on the Ethereum blockchain. Okay. That's right. There's a, there's a lot of. They get the data flow. They take a hash and then. Write they do a variety of things, but essentially, let's think of it as they're putting the record on the blockchain. So that's how they do like the uh, KYC and. Well, no, 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 no. Okay, so the KYC and everything is done directly through them. Okay. So they do all they 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 get all the parties together. They deal with all the documents. They main they, they do all that legal stuff based on the jurisdiction. They go through the property deed portion. And then, uh, after they do all that stuff, uh, they rubber stamp it on the blockchain to okay. have a record of it always happening, uh, that, 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 that this happened. Uh, and to do that, um, their smart contract that's doing that requires that it be paid about $10 in property. All right. So basically, the, the key is like a lot of people would have to do a lot of transactions for $10 properties. Because uh, like they they want to they want governments to actually recognize them as the official registry. Right now they register with the government. They want governments to basically say, we're going to use this instead of our existing systems. Right. And we're going to put it on this on, on their so, platform. And so then every time the government wants to register, they have to pay property with property ten dollars worth of property. So on the user side, you don't use property, but on the registration side, you're using property. Yeah. Property so one. so if I buy, so let's say this this property here. Let me zoom down. Um, so let's say this property here in Lisbon, I buy this, right? So I, I, first I, I, I click get in touch. I send like a message to the broker, whoever. I get in touch with them or I just click at the top. There's a button for reserve. So I click that button and then the process starts. The whole legal thing, whole everything. Right. Just emails back and forth and um, I can manage everything inside of their uh, platform. So, and just to clarify, you're actually buying the property. It's not like a fractionalized. No, it's full on. It's literally full. I own. You're it. actually buying. Now, it. DAO. What would be interesting is if we had like places like Aragon. Like we are, we take our Aragon decentralized organization, <clears throat> and then we could look through and vote on using our treasury, and then we can pay with Ether. So a lot of these properties you can pay with Ether. Um, and yeah, but then you own the property. Okay. Um, and basically, they take a percentage. They 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 don't. They're not very clear about what percentage they take. Um, they say it depends on the property value, or I couldn't find that information at least, which would be useful. Um, but if it's important, it's important. It's probably somewhere in there. It's just I think that should be more front and center. Right, right. I think that's the thing. Especially like it's a, probably there. Three to five hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. It, it's you know, probably it's probably there. there. But yeah. yeah, I think right right on the property it should be like what's the fee, right? Uh, and you can't. It's, I I spent quite a bit of time with this. I just couldn't find it. So okay. it's probably there somewhere. The point is, you buy the property, and then at the at the end of the transaction, ten dollars in property is needed. So. If, yeah, so that, that's essentially how this works. That's what this is. And so the property token holders, you don't get a stake in the properties at all. Um, um, and you don't even get uh, a dividend from the commissions, but two thirds of the percent of what they get from closing a property deal goes essentially into their marketing to help um, get more properties. Because the idea is, that as long as they, if they can get thousands of transactions happening, mm -hmm. then people are all going to need property. So if there's a, a thousand, if there was a thousand transactions a day, uh, people would need to buy ten thousand dollars of property. If there were a million transactions a day, which I don't think, well, they're, you know, globally, I don't think that's. But let's say there's, they get to like a hundred thousand, or let's say ten thousand. Right. That means that there would need to be a million dollar, no, hundred thousand. That would mean there would need to be a hundred thousand dollars. That would be a hundred thousand dollars in property that people would need to buy every day. Okay. Um, that would that and so then your 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 property that you own would be kind of valuable because people need it, but they need to scale out to literally thousands of transactions, like tens of thousands of transactions per day. Cool. So did you buy a property? Um, I did not buy a property. Um, it, and also it, the thing is, you it, it takes time, right? So you actually right. there's they have a video. There's like nine steps that you know. Oh, any okay. property. Wait, actually, I'm seeing something here that says buy with crypto. This one doesn't have it. So some yeah. of these you can actually buy. Yeah, no, with crypto. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Cool. You buy it with crypto. Yeah, a lot. Some, some of them. Yeah, you can buy with crypto. So if you're looking at this property, right? <clears throat> um, it says uh, they always say they accept a currency. So like, yeah, this is USD at the BTC. Okay. So you can say, and then you click ready to purchase. 
and then you double say, yes, I'm very interested. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, so actually, you know, I'm interested in learning more. Right. Um, I don't, you know, and uh, also maybe, maybe for a friend. Um, and so now they will contact me and um, we can maybe find out what more of the process looks like. Okay. Um, but that's essentially it. That, that, that's what property is, that's what the coin is. So, yeah. So it's kind of like, it's a listing service for the like yeah. customer broadcasting and discovery. Let me tell you the idea that I had. Oh, look, actually, look, see, look, I finally found it. Um, I can sort by this, but yeah. Okay, look, I can, I can't, okay, so you can look by price, but you All have right. to kind of, yeah, you kind of have to finagle your way into that. So you can look by price, which is really cool. All right. So let's see if there's any, okay, you, it's just zero to $100,000. Apply, um, and then there's here's like there's land twenty nine thirty eight. So yeah, it, it looks like it starts at twenty thousand dollars, but like as you know, like in places like Cambodia, Vietnam, whatever, those will be really interesting places where you have plots of land that are worth five thousand dollars, right? Or two thousand. I really think like lowering the barrier and, and making cheaper plots. Like I mean, there, there's places in Wash, um, Washington State, um, they're like an acre that's like five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars, right? right. Just, lower. And then yeah, they're right, right. more investor class. Yeah, they're more investor because right. if they want, if they want to get, because right now they only bring in a certain group. But if they want a lot of transactions constantly happening, I I would think that uh, allowing people like putting in like five thousand, one thousand. But I guess what they're saying is because of all the legal stuff, they're investing in all that stuff. Right. That's why they take a percentage because they're connecting everyone. They're coming up with stuff. But I think that if they can figure out a way to streamline that, that would be really interesting. And also, I was thinking that like. You know, I don't know how much interest is actually in here, but you know, a lot of real estate brokers, you could tell them about this. I mean, they it looks like it's free listing, right? So, um, I mean, yeah, it gets popular. That's a big deal. But yeah. that, that always, you know, once again begs the question: Is blockchain that appeals to us? But mm -hmm. let's say for the general user, is there a reason why you would use this over, say, something like Redfin? I guess if you're trying to sell to people who want to buy encrypted, okay. I, think, I think that's the idea. Like, you know, like there, there's a whole other you know group of people. But I think that's why they should really lower the prices, uh, or not lower the prices. I mean, have these one million dollar properties. But I mean, I think it's just better to make it accessible. Like I, you know, I don't know. I couldn't find you know a list. They don't really put that front center. I think the reason it's not front center about how many transactions happen today is because there are probably not that many transactions. Yeah. People going on and saying, "Oh yeah, I want to pay for this house with cryptocurrency." And when, when right. did this like start? Do we, do we have like the history on this? Or yeah, it, it started um, recently this year. That's when they launched. Okay, they they launched this year, okay. last year. So there's um, still room to grow. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, so it's a working platform. Um, and I can't find any videos of people actually went through the process. Like no one's videotaping going. Through. No one, you know, has you know a million dollars to to spare on testing out actually, software. Yeah. Um, when, I mean, it, yeah. When when your properties are starting at you know. Three, four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, you know, yeah. Your barrier to entry, like you don't have to pay right? You know, it's really hard to know if it works because yeah, yeah like, a we'd have to be like, you know what? Let's take four hundred thousand of our dollars. Let's put it on here and hope that everything worked well, mm -hmm. right? Uh, which is a little, you know, and you can talk to people, and that's the thing. And like all the real estate agents put their direct phone number. Yeah. Which also kind of allows people to bypass this whole process. Because if you notice, if you look at any of these properties, what you'll notice is the videos that they have up. Uh, if they have a video. Um, is always is always saying you know here's who the real estate agent is. Here. So I, ideally, I think most people just call the real estate agent, right? And then they would just start the process themselves. And is, um, there, is there any kind of like escrow service or anything for the Bitcoin? So that's what I think. Yeah, they they take care, they of, all take care that. of that. So they yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of that's kind of back yeah. services. All right, that's actually. I mean, that's a really handy thing. It's interesting, but yeah, there's that. There's not. You know, I, I would like to see someone actually go through with this and post it. I think they should even you know maybe highlight people who actually used it. Uh, and show their process. I think that would help a lot with that. That would help a lot, process. yeah, and actually show yeah. everything. Yeah. You can't really see what's really going to happen. Um, right. They don't really, they, they kind of have like a cartoon, right, <laughs> that's telling you about like ideally this is the situation. But I, I, I think if they found real world stories, that'd be helpful. Okay, cool. And like this person is buying and they're actually using the platform and you know, maybe they even pay that person right. to do it. Just yeah. The video work exactly. or, or, or say, hey, we'll give you a free, uh, you don't pay for the commission. Right. Right. So they can save maybe ten thousand. So, so in summary, it's basically a real estate site that takes crypto. Yeah. Has it's mostly a real. Let's think about this. I think scouting. it's a real estate website that takes crypto. That, that has that takes crypto. That, that, that lists places that are willing to take crypto. And it has like a cool little tilt token game thing in the back end that you use property for in order to like finance something. Like that's the thing. No, they make their money from the commission. They, Proppy makes their money for the fact that they're connected buyers and sellers, and they take 
they they take yeah. a percentage I'm, of that. Maybe maybe it's just my my ignorance. But, but token but holders, the, the loose end to me seems yeah. like the token holding side because yeah. it sounds kind of like well now you have to buy this token to be a part of the system, and it's probably just I don't understand it. Yeah, but I could I could see that well, being no, kind of a it's the thing is like what I what I would prefer right if I was to do something like this if I was to buy a token I would actually want to get a piece of the transaction right fee. Right. Um, so that, I think that's what I, I saw missing is the fact that token holders aren't rewarded uh, for the transactions that happen here. What you get is a pre speculation and pre appreciation and value because people will need them. But right. like I said, people only need them really if there's thousands of transactions daily. And it's a one time transaction. Right. Topic. And that's the thing. And it's still speculative in price because you're not actually earning you're you know, you're not earning from your actual holdings. Um, so I would I would like to see it more like that, but I guess you know they're trying to shy shy away from right. being considered a security token, um, and they want to be a purely utility token. And, 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 and this is this is a this is not a debt. This is there's no smart contract backing this. None, any of that kind there's of a smart contract, but for like the, but just the token recording recording the transactions. Okay, but like yeah, 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 yeah like, uh, But those aren't legally binding. Those aren't legally binding. Those aren't deeds. Yeah, right. That's what that's what this is. That's how property works. Cool. I mean, like something decentralized has a lot of room to grow. It seems like there's a lot of potential. Yeah, yeah.